Welcome to Clonanagh Fly Fishing. Uh, we're here today with Leif Staffmo from Guideline. We're in on the banks of the River Orkla in Norway and we're testing the new um, Guideline NT11 rods. Um, I suppose everybody's bringing out new rods and saying they're the best and the best that's out there at the moment. But um, we've been casting and fishing with these for the last few days and it has to say these are groundbreaking. They are incredible rods to fish with and they're a credit to Leif. Uh, I would have been a big fan of the predecessor of the N. Uh, T8 rods, um, always liked them, always enjoyed fishing with them, it would have been one of my favourite rods. And it's great to see that, you know, you often look at these rods and go, look, this is such a great rod, how can they improve on it? You know, this is it now, we've got to the best. But it just seems to keep getting better and just wonder how they keep doing it. So it's great to be here with Leif today on the banks of the river. We've had a great few days fishing and um, I'd just like to ask Life a few que or Life a few questions on these rods and tell us a little bit more about them and how they got there and how they got to being the rods that they are. Mm. So maybe you can just the, the one I've been fishing with is a 12.9, but there's quite a few in the range. Yeah, maybe you can are. tell us yeah. a little bit about the range and what's what's uh, what what we can expect. Well, Andrew, the first uh, first rods we're doing uh, as far as line weights go, we have we divide the MT11 into two different uh, parts, and it's a trout series, and uh, that consists of three different models. So there is a nine foot four, a nine foot five, and a nine foot six weight. Slightly different in the design as well to make them stand apart and uh, be a little bit more trout even than maybe the salmon rods are. And uh, if we move into the rods that are predominantly going to be used for salmon and sea trout fishing. There are three 10-foot models, a 6-weight, a 7-weight and an 8-weight. And moving into the double-handers, we're doing a 12-9 for a 7-8-weight and an 8-9-weight. We're doing a 13-9 for an 8-9 and a 9-10-weight, which is the one I have here. And we're also doing a 14-9 for a 9-10 and a 10-11. And finally, a big gun, the 59, 10, 11 weight for big rivers and uh, high water levels. Very impressive, yeah. I mean, I've casted them this weekend and, and, you know, they're superb. I mean, each, you know, each model has cast, you know, far above what you expect. I mean, I've been fishing the 12.9 there today and, I mean, it casts as well as, as you know, that it's the 8.9 model, it casts as well as any... 14 foot rod we would have had a few years ago and even it's an 8-9 line it's it just throws line out there's no stopping it so um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the tech behind the rod yeah uh, I'll do um, that it's, how uh, you got to these rods it's kind of an interesting story because uh, I got to rewind the tape a little bit and go back to 2019 uh, which was uh, in the heyday actually of the MT8s uh, that we introduced in 2017 so that rod hadn't been on the market for very long uh, but uh, in my job I am continuously looking for new technologies or new opportunities when it comes to materials or techniques in the actual construction of rods. could also be in components. And I'm a subscriber of several newsletters and the publications from uh, research institutes and uh, I came across a really interesting piece. Uh, regarding the, the tech work and the development work for future space vessels from NASA yeah. and their associate they have for developing these materials. And they are researching materials that are going to be used to bring humans onto planets like Mars in the future. And they needed something that was uh, more reliable than today's materials in, uh, in the space vessels so to make sure the safety of the peoples was secured. And, um, in that article, there were uh, mentioning of two materials. One was T1100G, and the other one was IM10 by a company called Hexshell. So, uh, reading further, you know, I found that these were materials that were predominantly reinforcing and securing the stability in uh, terms of impact strength and also compression, torsion in uh, the vessels and the, any kind of deformation and I thought uh, must be a pretty good material to use <laughs> in fly yeah. rods you know I mean even the, 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 the sales thing now you can say that these are being you you know you can cast yeah. into space with these they can cast so far I mean that alone is uh, yeah and the cool thing is with uh, uh, I, I, I sort of uh, started to look for T1100 a little bit more and I found that uh, in those days it was actually used in golf shafts and uh, yeah. obviously golf shafts having a golf club head are sort of 
really being affected a lot by torsion. So uh, I could see that made sense. And uh, so I contacted our manufacturer of the IM8, uh, the MT8, which is used with an IM8 material, and said, uh, can we do some tests with this material? And uh, they said, yeah, but it's going to be ridiculously expensive. But we did anyway, and uh, reading further, we found that this material is uh, basically going to uh, create something new in terms of both the, what we can use in performance of the rod, because we can use a higher modulus main graphite in the rods. At the same time, we can encircle it and make a kind of encapsulment with this T1100 material, which reinforces the rods to completely new standards. So it's a win-win impact strength, compression strength by the T1100, and also using higher modulus graphites in the center to give the rods more crispness and better recovery speed. Yeah, I mean, the tech, you know, you can feel it in the rod. It's hard to put your finger on it, but when you're casting it, these things are just, you know, it's the responsiveness. You can feel them right down to the butt. The recovery speed is incredible, like nothing I've felt before. It's just they're instantly, you know, you're hitting them on the forward cast. They're instantly straightened up, and it's, that's impressive. I don't think I've seen that. I've never seen that anything like that in a rod before. How, and it, also, I mean, it may, I'm not that, that great a caster, and it's it's fantastic to see you can just whack this thing on the front, and it'll you know it, it applies to you know any level of caster. You know it it'll, will improve your casting. It'll make you look like a hero. It's funny you is, say that because uh, when we first set out, obviously we thought that uh, NT8s were kind of the pinnacle of what we've done with uh, with actions in rods as well, and we were really proud of those. In the meantime, you know time's been uh, passing by and. Uh, we launched actually our new LPX series in between here, between this launch and the MT8s. And uh, while creating those rods, I think we came upon a slightly different approach to actions in the rods. We, we sort of let the action go a little bit deeper in the rods and by using these new materials also in the LPX that are more recovery friendly and uh, generate higher speeds, we thought we'd, we'd change and go down that route also in these rods. So what you are feeling is a rod that has a slightly deeper load than the original MT8 rods has and at the same time we've given them a slightly softer but still very rigid tip section which is a little bit more forgiving and uh, I think the team that's worked together with me in developing these rods represents a really great aspect of different casting styles and abilities. Uh, Jan Erik Granbo, who is a phenomenal caster, and is Incredible, a, yeah. is a Incredible. man who can. Uh, a machine. Yeah, a machine. he really casting is. Machine. And he's, he's got a stroke that's just more than perfect, you know, every time consistent, hitting it the same way. Uh, another guy. Uh, Hayas Anderson, who is a phenomenal angler and uh, one of the guys who's pushing a really long line consistently but uses more of an upper arm stroke, okay. you know, and uh, giving a lot of force to that. Mind you, he's using the lower hand as well, but uh, uh, it's kind of quite different from Jan Erik's style. And then me being somewhere in between, doing a lot of single hand work, not fishing so much double hand. Uh, representing kind of the broad mass of casting styles. And uh, if you get an okay from three types of casters like that, you know you're onto an action in the rods that's going to be pretty user friendly for the most of the people out there fishing. Yeah, that's you, you really notice that. I mean, we've all we've been testing these rods this these few days, and I mean, it's there, I'd be lucky enough to catch a couple of fish on it. And you know, the ability to play the fish, you know, you've command over the river. Even like the Arkla for us in Ireland would be. You know, it would be a large enough river, and this, you know, the 12.9 was perfect. And for, you know, you've the 13.9 and 14.9 as well, that you just have such command over the water, such power. You know, you don't, you know, it's it's incredible the distance that, that and how yeah. easy it is. It's not hard work. You're not going to be tired and wrecked at the end of the day casting these things. No. And that's the beauty of them. A lot of rods that are, you know, performing rods, you have to have a, a certain, you know, a high level of casting ability to use them. While these, you know, they, they, they apply to the masses. You know, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, 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 they're to a broad range of casting strokes and they just mm -hmm. seem to, you know, they're, they're like a multi-tool. They just, yeah. they do the job and they do it well. Yeah, well I think one of the things you said that they apply to the masses, it's uh, another aspect is, uh, uh, as, we, as we moved along from the initial start of planning these rods, we were in a, 
in a totally different uh, world situation than we are today. So my first assignment with these rods were no, 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 no price uh, is going to be too high for these. No yeah, just spare. Just yeah, make exactly. the best you can. <laughs> yeah, just put the, the best stuff on there, you know, from guides to grips to everything. And uh, then uh, the world changed in the, right in the middle of everything. So we've kind of uh, changed a little bit with it, but we haven't compromised at all with the materials. Uh, what we've done is we've created a rod that's going to be affordable, I think, for also the broader public in terms of uh, value for money and we we definitely uh, we spend money on the grips it's a super nice floor grade grip on these yeah, you rods can see the quality is. You yeah. can, when you're holding you're feeling it like it's yeah, and you've been a little filler up. i've been fishing this yeah. for a few days and it's in you know it's an incredible nick yeah. even the real seat looks amazing the yeah. whole build of the rod yeah. and the fact that, you know it, it's six piece as well it's just so convenient yeah that's going to be a big thing because i think once you know after covid now everything is opening up people have that desire to travel again yeah. and you're not compromising in performance you know no. you know having the six sections a lot of people are, are still worried about that but you know personally i believe there's no you know if it's built from the ground up as a six piece yeah. it, it doesn't you're not compromising you can't fault them uh, looking at swing weights and total weights of the rods they're still phenomenal rods for their 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 range and their, their lengths, you know, incredibly light, even with the extra ferrules you get from a six piece and uh, nice fit to other ferrules, so uh, definitely not going to be a problem at all. Yeah, but well, we're really looking forward to having these in the shop. I think, you know, they're not cheap, uh, but having said that, the, the the value that you're getting, the amount of rod you're getting for your price here, it's, it's incredible. Um, everything, unfortunately, the world we live in, everything's going up in price. Um, but these are, you know, they do offer, you know, for the performance that you're getting for the price you're paying, it's, they're phenomenal rods and, you know, they're, they're I, I would be, f firmly believe they're one of the, one of the best double handers I've cast to date anyway. Well, thank you. And great job and, you know, look forward to a few more years of these in fishing with them. Yeah, so do we actually. We hope they'll live a long time together with us, so. Let's go and give let's them go a cast, and, eh? Let's go down and give, see if we can <laughs> land, a, land a fish on them. Yeah. All right. Great stuff. Cheers. Yeah.